Welcome to I Thrive Ideas. Today we are going to talk about social security maximization. There are typically three ways the benefit is taken. Early, at full retirement age, and delayed. If you take benefits at 62 and early, your benefit could be 25% less than if you waited until full retirement age, and 32% less if you waited until age 70. A little over two years ago, new laws went into effect that set a cutoff date for folks to be able to file a restricted application and collect spousal benefits, while having the ability to let their own benefit grow until 70. If you were born on or before January 1st, 1954, you are eligible to take advantage of this strategy after you reach full retirement age. Let me explain. Let's say John Doe's full retirement age benefit at 66 is $2,300 per month, and Jane Doe's full retirement age benefit is $2,000 per month. Both are born before January 1st, 1954, so they are able to take advantage of a restricted application. John has the ability to file a restricted application and collect spousal benefits, which is half of Jane's full retirement age benefit of $1,000 per month. At the same time, Jane files to collect her full retirement age benefit of $2,000 per month John's own benefit, based on his own earning record, will grow by 8% per year until age 70. Then at age 70, John can switch to his own benefit and receive his delayed amount of approximately $3,120 per month. So if you or your parents were born before January 1st, 1954 and haven't taken Social Security, there may be a strategy that you can take advantage of. Just know, if you are divorced, but were married for more than 10 years and haven't remarried, you may be entitled to a spousal benefit. Also, for those who have lost a spouse, please know that you may be entitled to a combination of a survivor benefit and your own. There are many factors to consider on when and how to collect, so please feel free to reach out to our office with any questions you might have. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.